Okay, happy Veterans Day, everyone. We owe our veterans a a lot. We can never repay them for everything that they have done and sacrificed, and we just can't. So, happy Veterans Day. <clears throat> Today, I'm going to go over how I use Airtable to stay organized, specifically my my Digipire, my digital empire, my digital assets, all my projects, everything that I create and build out in the, in the digital universe, I have been keeping track of in Airtable. Uh, I keep a track of a lot of things in Airtable. I have, you know, my expenses, you know, as you can see, I keep track of a little bit of everything. But today I'm going to go over how I keep track of my my ideas, ideas I have for projects, ideas I have for ebooks, for for just anything that that is that I build in the in the digital digital wise. I keep track of Air, on, in Airtable. So I'm going to give you a real life example of what I do when I become inspired, and what I do you know with that information. Okay, so I was reading this article about cities that people uh, can't wait to move to this this one right here and I noticed that uh, there's a few cities in here that they mentioned Spokane Washington uh, Deltona Florida Portland Maine and Boise Idaho so immediately, immediately I thought oh those those are cities that that would fit well for my niche real estate portals my software as a service the offers tools to real estate professionals to help them market their listings and I usually am very very focused in, in a certain city I'm you know I in certain cities I don't do like a blanket approach to the entire country I go into certain cities so I immediately thought that Deltona and Boise and Spokane would be perfect because I always use a combination of my city name home.com. It seems to work very well. Real estate professionals seem to like it. It's catchy and people can remember it. And people actually type that into the search engines, believe it or not. Their, their name and then the city name and then home. So anyway, I went ahead and registered adult, my Deltona home.com and my my spokanehome.com and I'm going to show you how I attach it to my and I put my boisehome.com since it was not registered or since it's not available it's a premium domain for sale for over a thousand dollars so I'm going to, I'll put that into my domain watch which I'm going to show you in just a moment so I put my I don't have all of them in here where I find my domains domain like my domains so I put my Spokane home and my Deltona home and I attached it to two projects that I am currently running my listen tools.com it's not developed yet I'm still working on it and my real estate portals projects okay so I attack I'm able to attach it to uh, those projects I can I can update the status uh, if there's a if there's an issue with it I can I can tag it as an issue like right here, I can tag whatever issue I have with that particular domain. If it's to, if it's at the domain level, you know it could be hosting. If it's hosting or something like that, then that would be a little bit. If it's a if it's a hosting problem, it's on the domain. It might be I might treat it a little differently. I tag the, the projects with that domain, which I already showed you. I have a to do list for for that particular domain and a feed. So if there's any kind of thing, anything that I need to discuss or go over or some tidbit of information that that involves that domain I can put it into that feed and the same thing with my Deltona home I attach it to the two projects I have if I come across a problem or an issue or an idea I attach it to a feed so say for example I can attach this uh, website to the feed because this is where this is where I, this is where it, this is what inspired me to this is what inspired me to to register those domains. I mean I already have projects going on but didn't it didn't it didn't inspire me to start those projects but inspired me to register these two domains. So I can attach that fact on the feed. So
So I'm not going to, I'm not going to put the, I'm not going to attach the, I'm not going to, I'm not going to mention again what the domains are. I'm just going to attach them. So I'm going to put Spokane. So I can put, I could write after reading this article, I register two domains listed here, which is my Spokane home and my Delta home. Okay. And the projects that it's related to are my listing tool. Oh, so. My listing tool. Sometimes I, I split it up. Okay, my listing tools is on this one corner in a minute. Because I haven't combined my. I have. Where I was keeping it in another format and then Memento and another spreadsheet, I have it, in, I have it kind of split up, so I need to consolidate the two. Okay, so put a screenshot. I took a screenshot here. And of course, the URL. Ah, where's the URL? So that's the URL. I probably don't need all this other crap. I'm not going to bother to take it out, the UTM information. Uh, I could put anything, that, like I said, if there's an issue with this domain or whatnot. But I attached that to the feed for that domain. So this domain has a feed. And, so, you know, a lot of them do. If I have, like, an idea or I'm, I'm inspired or I find something about that would be related to that, I put it there. And this is my my digipire feed my digital my <laughs> digital empire feed that so when i when i find something when i have an idea i write it down and attach it to whatever project domain or resource or or contact or, or just whatever i can have kind of a relational database of sorts so i've created my own relational database where everything is related to each other and i can go back and forth and see what's going on with any particular thing. Like for example, on this, uh, let's see, what do I have a lot of stuff on? Like this doctor database and reviews. That was a, a project that, that I'm interested in starting. Uh, so I have, you know, I have a feed according to undeveloped. You have, you know, I can, according to undeveloped, I have things attached to that where you know, I'm not going to go into all that, but I have it resources attached to uh, my doctor database and review. So, for example, I just, there's a software, there's a database for sale here. And I'm going to see how much of this is as actually. So, you can buy a doctor database for a trust RT software. I've used them before. Master rights for $500. So, that's you know unlimited. There's no tracking fees, and you can you can use it on as many websites as you want, and all that kind of thing. So I attach that if I, if I, when I, when I start my doctor database rating doctors, I can buy my database from Odyssey Software for unlimited for five hundred dollars, which it would pay for itself in no time because that's just. Uh, search engine fodder. I mean the search engines just go nuts over stuff like that. You have to add value to it But that's pretty easy to do kind of like a Mad Lib kind of thing You can also list of scraper bots I can use to, to get that and just anything in a review plugin that I could use if I wanted to make it a, a WordPress site I can tell you that WordPress is not ideal when it gets to that number of records you want to have a, a pH a dynamic website Build, you know, code it by hand, which I'm not going to be able to do. I'd have to hire someone to, to do that. So WordPress isn't suited for something that massive. So, but, you know, that's something if I wanted to experiment, if I wanted to break it down into like uh, Ohio or West Virginia or, or Texas or, or Florida, I can narrow it down to that and make 50 small websites using WordPress instead of one great big massive one. I haven't decided what I'm going to do yet, but this is how I keep track and I had my two domain ideas I wonder why you see that so this is how I keep track of my crazy mind sometimes so I highly recommend 
Airtable and enjoy. That's it, everybody. Enjoy the rest of your weekend. Some of you have a long weekend, so enjoy your week and all that good stuff. Bye. Uh, one more thing, very quickly. I forgot to show you where I keep track of my domains that I, that I watch. A lot of times I get inspired and the domain's not available or it's a premium domain and I can't buy it immediately. So I have, I put it into a domain watch. And so I looked at this Boise home and it was not available, it was available as a premium domain. So I put it in, I put it in my domain watch as such. So something that I might be, might be interested in, in the future. So I took a picture of it. My Boise home is $1,070 and it's a premium domain and it's developed. No, it's not developed and is added to my calendar. No, I add it to my calendar when I, when it's coming up for renewal. And so when the domain drops, I'll be made aware of it and maybe I could gobble it up if I'm so interested. So that's when I add it to the calendar. I'm looking to build an app that will do all this for me without having to manually go at myself. So, okay, that's it. Enjoy the rest of your weekend and some of you a long weekend. Bye-bye. Good night.